compassion says, I see you, I hear you, I feel you, I, I want to know you. It knows we're not that different, you and me. Compassion sees an empty seat at a table over lunch, and it's been empty for a while. There's nothing wrong with the seat, apart from the fact that it's next to that person. You know the one who always sits on their own, alone, but why? Do you know? Is it something to do with them, or is it more to do with you? What do you see? How do you feel? How will you respond? Compassion makes an empty seat on a bus or a train or a tram, but it wasn't always empty. In fact, it was yours, but you saw them struggling and made a space for them to rest. That older person with their shopping bags, that single parent wrestling with a child, that person struggling to walk, to stand, to breathe. That key worker who'd been on their feet for hours and compassion made that empty seat because you noticed they needed it more than you. You saw, you felt, you responded. Compassion sees an empty seat among your group of friends. It's not always empty. Your friend normally sits there, smiling, laughing, bringing the banter, and yet they're absent. Have you noticed? Do you care? Did you know that they've been struggling recently? Things aren't good at home, they're struggling with school, money's tight, they're anxious, stressed, depressed. And so it was easier for them to drift away. Are you comfortable with that empty seat? Or do you love your friend enough to want them back to fill it, to seek them out, to sit with them, to see and feel and respond? Compassion leaves an empty seat at a table full of food amongst friends, family, strangers, the enemy. A place of safety, a place of plenty, a place of growth. It says there's always room for one more. It asks no questions, expects no rewards, just offers a welcome. There are so many people because that's what they are, people. Not strangers or refugees or immigrants or homeless, not them, just people just like you and me, who need a place to sit and eat and be welcome. Compassion fills an empty seat beside a hospital bed, not because you're a doctor or a nurse or even know the words to say, but because what's needed is a presence, company. In the silence, the solitude, the pain, the grief, the moments of despair, of loneliness and lostness, just someone who cares. Maybe you've seen these seats, made these seats, left these seats, filled these seats, because deep down you've known and shown compassion. Or maybe you haven't, because it's not easy to be the one to sit, to stand, to welcome. But you and I need to have the courage to feel, to care, to share ourselves compassionately. Or maybe, like me, you've known those seats because it was next to you as you ate alone, because you've looked for it on a tram, because you walked away from friends, because you needed a welcome, because you've known pain and you were looking for compassion. Because compassion says, I see you, I hear you, I feel you, I want to know you. It knows we're not that different you and me. Isn't that what we all need?